And now I'm tuned into me, 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 million dollars worth of game, man. Listen, mm. man, we got bangs, man. Fredo bangs, man. It's going down, man. We not playing no games. But listen, this song, this this song is just that's like, a summertime oh anthem, God, right there. Like, you know, uh, I need my dick set right now. Oh, that oh. shit different, man. So you just <laughs> yeah. be wilding out, though. Yes, huh? he did. But you ever been in a situation where where you do run into that that throat warrior? And she just had you thinking life, looking at life differently or something? I had a cheap mouth was so good. I waited in her driveway while another nigga dropped off to me. <clears throat> damn. And I had no problems with it. Yeah, that's when you know a bitch. You God, go damn. damn. You I, need about to, I need to see about this. That bitch Jaws. Yes. What happened? Yeah. Why you let her go? Uh, I went to jail. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> when you come home, what you looking for? Oh, did what? I? What the fuck? I found she had a dude, though. He was looking still, for a still, daylight in the yeah, daytime so with a flashlight. She was over her whole face. Oh, man. But yeah. she, she she told you I'm cool? Huh? She, she ain't let you go go in again? Nah, we still cool, though. I still be trying. Damn. Damn. He's yeah, he man, still man. try to double back on he that head, head huh? Yeah. I'm going to try to see if she still got it. <laughs> like, That's some shit you I don't think a bitch She was older than me, so I went I'm like, man, what was I just... Not uh, experienced as much as yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, nigga tools throwing up gang signs. Fuck you up. <laughs> right, right. Nigga in there. Oh, oh. You change your life. Put me to sleep. <laughs> Cook for me. Cook for you. Oh, yeah, you still. Oh, yeah, as soon as I finish, ate that bitch again. But, but, uh, yeah. but you ever tell her, but did, did it ever force you to tell her you love, I love her? her? You told her? Yeah, of course. It ain't right if you don't tell her you love her. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga say all types of shit doing sex. Oh, you my, you my wife now. Oh. Oh, I love if you. the cat in the mouth don't make you say you love you, it ain't real. It ain't real, man. I didn't. What's some of the craziest shit you done told bitch doing sex? This episode of Me and I Was Worth a Game is brought to you by New Amsterdam Vodka. New Amsterdam. I got a little something new today. New Amsterdam Vodka is born from uncompromising passion for great vodka. This heartfelt commitment to excellence has enabled them to produce America's vodka from a superb taste and an unparalleled smoothness. Their liquid is rated 93, five times distilled, and three times filtered. So they really put this through a process so that this vodka can taste extremely well Wow! when it taps your tongue. I just want to tell you that New Amsterdam Vodka is mostly inspired by those who stay true to themselves, true. like me and Wallo. Yes, you know? sir. Nothing is more true to themselves like me and I was worth a game, huh? Mm-hmm. Always true. Right, because we don't care about what anybody thinks. But back to New Amsterdam Vodka for pursuing your dreams and celebrating with friends and having an epic night out. This is why New Amsterdam Vodka is what? The official vodka of Barstool Sports. Sports. A hardworking spirit flows through everyone. Everything New Amsterdam Vodka does, from the water they use to the grains they select. Everything. Everything. Every step to distilling the process. Find your wins with New Amsterdam Vodka. When you're out about at your local liquor store, make sure you get you some. Right. We go together now. <laughs> you first of all, you two fucking old time, but we go nah, together. man, you my girl now. <laughs> 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 What's the worst shit you done said? Man, I done said all type of shit. <laughs> see, he done said that before. Yeah, you my wife now. I, yes. I ain't like, see, then it, then it be worse with bitches you don't give a fuck about. Yeah. Don't put all my foot on top of your head, all type all of shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, so that was the craziest shit you done did to us. Oh, shit. Put your foot on the bitch neck. <laughs> yeah, I seen the shit on, um, I was on my fence and somebody posted it like, man, you, you think something that you should try putting your foot on it? I'm like, damn, I should try that shit. Damn. And he did it. <clears throat> she lighted it. Uh-huh. Fuck it. Damn. That nigga in there doing wrestling moves. <laughs> that nigga crazy. <laughs> got his toes all on the bitch neck and shit. He's going crazy. <laughs> nigga got his feet all pushing down the bitch neck. <laughs> What's the craziest shit you ever did? Man, I did that John before hitting him, standing on the side. I, I remember one time you come in here talking about the cuz. I put I put a leash on the bitch last night, walked her around the room. I'm like, what? <laughs> so right, I don't remember telling you yes, that. Yes, you I'm did, nigga. Uh, role yes, play shit? Yes, <laughs> I don't remember telling you. I put a leash on the bitch. Yes, you did, nigga. I put a leash on the bitch last night, walked her around the room. I'm like, what? <laughs> what type of shit you I don't remember telling you that. <laughs> but did it happen? No, one time one time I did, like, I'm gonna tell you some shit I did, and chick, she asked me to do it. I was like, all right, cool. I, I basically like she had these cuffs and these shackles, so she said, "Man, why what? you had them? Man, she it was deep. She said, <laughs> see, I said, see, see, I had these cuffs and shackles. She didn't break them over. Why you had the cuffs <laughs> and shackles? Said, she said, put this on me. I put them on her.' 
And uh, I was like, I'm ready to take a shower. She was like, all right, just leave me here. I put them on and put the whole joint on her. When I took a shower, she she was dripping after I came back. It was like, it was crazy. She loved that shit. Well, what's the new thing now? Because I'm just seeing all these niggas talk about they want their ass ate, man. Is that the new thing? I don't know about all that. <laughs> I'm saying you a young nigga. This is young. I just see Boosie nigga. talk about. I'm looking for somebody eat my ass. I see this other nigga talk about. He said there were five bitches with the roses. Yeah, all of them eat my ass. They eat my ass together. Yeah, they, yeah, I'm, like, whoa, I'm like, oh, you talking about chaotic? Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like is that the new thing? Sometimes get her. Yeah, sometimes that dude, that dude, that dude. I'm like, is that the new thing with the young niggas? Like, you know. Cause I know you, you don't mind your cakes getting no, shit killed too. You, know what what I mean? you don't mind a bitch swiping up tongue across his ass me, like man. American Express card. Don't, 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 don't leave home without no, it. I ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> he, he don't mind. I ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> don't lie, nigga. Leave your truths. Leave yeah. your truths, cuz. I ain't got nothing to do with but, that. So I was just trying to figure out that a young nigga joint. I like I like make make sure you hit the balls for sure. Get a little under that. Yeah, see, I'm a I'm a Gucci warrior. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. But you, the bitch, don't go no long, no lower than the Gucci, yeah, uh, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, my woman can't go no low, go hey, 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 well, hey, fuck you. Like, but you know, you no nah, man, okay. ass man. Don't do me like that, man. <laughs> he 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 throw his legs back, say get everything. I ain't <laughs> doing shit like that. Nigga lying. He lying, baby. He, he, he lying, lying on me, man. So you want? You fucking lying on me. Get, get everything. everything. Fucking fuck legs. Out of the fuck out of here. He lying on me. <laughs> this nigga lying on me, man. Man, coming out the bed and rouge, man. Yeah. When niggas talk about Louisiana, right? A lot of niggas don't understand how rough Baton Rouge is, man. That's the fucking ghetto for real, man. Crazy. Yeah. Niggas always say New Orleans, New Orleans, uh, Baton Rouge. <laughs> Them niggas will shoot your fucking socks off out there, man. <laughs> how was it growing up in Baton Rouge, yeah. man? Uh, it was like a food chain, you feel me? You, you whatever, whatever part you want that day, that's, that's how it goes, you feel me? So, like me, I grew up hard, yeah, but I ain't have it the worst. You feel me? I can say that. I say I can say my mama worked her ass off, moved yeah. me out the out my original hood. You yeah. feel me? And try to do better for us, but I still gravitated that because I ain't never want to be weak. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So it was like I say, it was just more of me wanting to survive, and I don't want to be under. You know what I'm saying? Right. A lot of motherfuckers don't understand when you grow up in that ghetto, man. Is either is either you got to be a shark or you got to be a fucking dolphin. I I think that's the difference between me and a lot of these niggas. A lot of these niggas want to be in the street. Yeah. They want to be that nigga walking around with a gun. They want to be this. I just ain't want nobody to fuck with me. Right. <laughs> you feel me? Right. I just ain't want to die. Yeah. yeah. I did what I did what I needed to do, Absolutely. not what I wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. But one one and thing I learned about you is like, but just from seeing you, you always got good energy. It's like you always laughing and shit. Uh, you ain't true. walking around masked up. Oh, I'm tough, nigga. Fuck me. Uh, you you always laughing and joking and just like. Having kicking it, going at the chicks, as you said, you always going at the chicks and just chilling. We like, getting to that in a minute. Yeah, we get yeah. to that. I don't, look, before before jail, I went so much of my life just being angry to mm -hmm. where like I couldn't even talk to people. Like my partner G, who died, he was a social person. I just sit there and mug the shit out. You. If I don't know you, I don't know you. If I do know you, I fuck with you and I'm die about you. You feel me? But I just had I had a, I had that bad pride problem. Anything that came across me, I had I got a chick. Anything get in my way, I got to fuck over. You know what right. I'm saying? Where did so, that come from? Like I said, it was a mixture. It was, it was, it was that not want to be at the bottom of the food chain, and it's also I lost my partner. And when I lost him, uh, Trey, I ain't give a fuck about nothing. I ain't give a fuck about dying, nothing. I just was like, it is what it is. How it going to go today is how it going to go. So let me ask you this. When did you... What was the moment where you said, "Okay, man, fuck it, I'm gonna let my guard down and I'm gonna start, I'm gonna stop me mugging, I'm gonna start enjoying this shit." Um, well, it wasn't just a simple snap, going to jail, shit happening, niggas talk. You can't address everything because this nigga on this, this nigga on this dorm, this nigga on this tier, this nigga around here. You can't address everything. Right. You got shit going on in the world. You trying to fight your case. You trying to get back home. You girl getting fucked by another. It got so much other shit going on that you got to get to that point to where nothing bother you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And 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 then on top of that, you got to be on your guard 24 times, 24 seven in that motherfucker. And I, and I learned the hallway a couple of times. It'd be to where I'm so mad 
that I'm out of my element and I'm not focused on what's going on, nah, nigga just snuck me. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Or nigga plotting on me. Nigga trying to crowd me when the lights hit or some shit. You yeah. feel me? So that shit that just made me want to be just all the way militant and just put up just nonchalant to where I, don't nothing phase me. Mm-hmm. Don't nothing make me mad unless I wanted to make me mad. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, deep. so you got into some situations in that joint. Yeah, nigga stole off on you, huh? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> he suffered. Uh, you ain't go to sleep, did you? Huh? You ain't go to sleep, did you? Nah, the first time I didn't. The first time, uh, well, I didn't get snuck that time, but I slept with my shoes on for like three weeks. No, I, 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 I'm, I'm exaggerating about eight days. Eight days. Slept with them bitches on. Slept with them on. Feet funky than a motherfucker, bitch. You I, on point? Fuck my feet up. <laughs> Damn, yeah. <laughs> but you was on point though. Huh? So <laughs> yeah. what happened when the, when, when the niggas when the niggas stole you? Um, you talking about that time or yeah. another time? The, the, the one time when the nigga got off on you. Now the time the nigga got off on me, I'm just I'm just walking around the dome. Sometimes I get into my time where I'm just pacing and I'm listening to music in my head or just rapping to myself. Just really just sometimes you, it's like you, your mind be zoned out and you just walking the stress out, but you're yeah. not noticing it. So um, the nigga. Come to find out, he was fucked up on. We call it Mojo, y'all call it like K two and shit like that. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, he, he was, was fucked. Yeah, he was <laughs> fucked up. Fuck out but a nigga knew him was t- running a uh, up with him. They just jammed up. So I'm just I'm pacing. Mind you, I never had a conversation with the dude. So as soon as I come like about four feet and reach him, mm, but he caught me in my neck. Yeah. If you could have caught me in my chin, I probably would have been out of here. Yeah. I ain't gonna bullshit the big hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he caught me in my, so he caught me in my neck. We, we squirt up. I'm like, oh shit. But he didn't want to fall in. Damn. I'm like, fuck it. Come to the back. So we, you know, I don't want to pull no checkout. We call it a checkout move. We trying to fight in front of the people. Yeah. In front of the key. Mm-hmm. He didn't want to come back there. He called child. Nah, I'm, I'm hot. I don't want to eat or nothing. Yeah. The whole time a child, I'm just looking at this nigga. I, I can't wait to get back. You hear me? Mm-hmm. I fuck around. It was turkey nicks, rice and gravy. I still remember the, the tray. You heard me? <laughs> I gave my pot in that shit. I don't want that shit. Go back. I, I, I get up early. Go with the first row. So I'm waiting. How I shit built is a walk. It's a dorm right here, and it's a big. It's, it's a long ass gate. It's a dorm right here, brick wall. Then our gate and our dorm right here. So I'm at the gate just waiting on him. This nigga stopped right by the other dorm, talking on the balls to them. I came out that motherfucker, <clears throat> go to sleep. <laughs> go right to sleep. Put him go down. to sleep. <laughs> go to sleep, nigga. Uh, <laughs> and then you got your get back, huh? Yeah. He ain't want nothing after that. Nah, he got, he got up. He, he did it. He, he, he came with it. <laughs> yeah, it was a nigga. You ever hit somebody and you were so shocked how you hit him? I'm uh-huh. like, oh, fuck. <laughs> he got back up, though. Yeah, he got back up and I was still shocked. And then, you know, slides and shit. So he came up, but he came up with a punch at the same time, and I'm just in slow mode and caught me on my chin, so I didn't feel back. <laughs> when he coming in, my, some of my other partners came in and popped him and shit, so then we just got the crowd, and my big homie, he was inside the cell right there. Yeah, yeah. so he, he one of them older niggas who just like talking shit and billing it, mm-hmm. so he just making everything sound 20 times worse. Kill that bitch! <laughs> yeah, stop, throw away your knife at! Jug the bitch! Yeah. Nah, 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 get that, not that side, the other side. Lester got that side. Damn, he was sure. <laughs> he was trying to get y'all to kill him. <laughs> kill that bitch. He, look at that, he getting a haircut while, like, on a stool. So he point like, he just bossed up niggas talking to him. You feel me? Yeah. So his little niggas just getting off right now. So he's just in full boss mode right yeah. now. You hear me? <laughs> Why you getting his cut? Yeah, shit. yeah. Kill, kill that bitch. Bitch. Hold on, man, you fucking my line. <laughs> <I'm not laughs> How the ladies treat you when you was in jail? Say it again. How the ladies on the outside treat you when you was in jail? They was coming through or they was Man. So when I first when I first went in uh, I was in a relationship for like three months. Loved my life. So That was the love of your life at that time. Love my life. I, I I still feel like that's the my perfect person that, you know what I'm saying? I never oh, wait, no, why what the fuck happened? She cheated on me in jail. Oh, Lord. But she ain't cheated on you in jail. Come on, man. What the fuck is you? I'm about to tell you, You know though. you got to share your people when you go to jail, but, left. But check me out, though. Mm-hmm. So my, when I get in there, right, I'm, you know you know how we is. Yeah. All right, bam. I'm trying to get out. Three, four months, you see what, how this shit going. I'm like, all right, I ain't coming out right now. Bitches write me, send money every week. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Different little hoes. I slowly start disconnecting and I'm like, hey, this ain't. What it is no more. Then I got a bitch writing me, fighting with her on Facebook and all. I'm like, uh, hey, I can't fuck with it no more. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. I know how it go. I'm gonna need somebody. You feel me? Yeah. I 
Before I just run all of them, you know, I'm going to keep the one who I'm really fucking with. Right. You know what I'm saying? So do that. She jokes me. I ain't going to lie. Catching every visit, almost at then at every call, you know what I'm saying? But it got to a point where, you know, when you know your person, you know your person. I'm like, I know something different about you. Whatever it is, go ahead, tell me. It's going to hurt. But at the end of the day, if you tell me the truth, I know you wouldn't spare my feelings and I can trust you always. You feel me? She ain't do that. <laughs> And I found out the hard way, you feel me? <laughs> the homies told you? Nah, well, they kind of, he, he didn't want to tell me because like, like a lot of people don't want to tell me shit because I be tripping. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? I get to... Well, for one, I went, I, uh, it got to a point where she wouldn't tell me she loved me no more. She mm. wanted to break. I said, break? Oh, what the fuck is we breaking? <laughs> 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 what is we breaking? <laughs> you know what the fuck you talking about? It's two something years. You know? What you yeah. breaking? You feel me? So, man, all right, they go by for about two weeks. I get... um. I'm almost out the door. She don't know though. Mm. You know, you know, in the court date when they hit them years, they she hit seven years. She mm-hmm. like, seven years. Mm-hmm. Okay, come on, we've been in two and a half. Mm-hmm. But she don't know. But I, I ain't telling her though. You feel me? Testing you. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> he was she did. He was so I told man, her. Look, but, 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 I go to but, and her, in your defense, it's good that you tested her because yeah. you got to see what what it really, what it really was. was. Yeah, if I didn't, it would I would it would have been probably right. the worse than when I got home. Right, you would have did something wrong. It was worse. Right. You feel me? But anyway. I get shipped, and this this point, I'm in a program uh, reentry. It's when you go through everything. They teach you about life shit, intake it. Do six, do you do sixty days? They give you like one twenty or something. So I'm be immediate release because mm-hmm. I lost. I had lost a good time when I got caught with a phone. Mm-hmm. Lost like thirty six days anyway. As soon as I finish that program, I go across the street to a work release. Yeah, it's a whole jail, different jail service. I call the phone. She pick up. Oh, I, you know, I ain't never put no. I ain't never been on this phone service no before. Who, mm. who been on this? Oh yes, you had. I say, listen. I've been there two and a half years. I know every, then every jail company I've been on, and I know how much left on the phones. Mm-hmm. You feel me? You know, we write everything down in jail. Right. You feel me? So about two days later, she done telling me, yeah, I was talking the dude I was talking to. He went to jail. I said, damn. He did a bit with somebody else, huh? Nah, he ain't do a bit. He just went to jail. Mm-hmm. And so for like probably like a week or something. But the thing is, I'm hustling in jail and and really helping her. So you use my money to put money on the phone for him. Mm. Damn, I bet. He's like, I stopped fuck. calling. Pop up home two weeks later. Mm. And what happened? I pulled up. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled up. Gave him some of that. I love this nigga. Gave him some of that rough ass jailhouse dick. I love. This. He real though. He yeah. real. But I ain't gonna lie. Then on top of that, I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna fake it though. Nigga, she. I think she was still fucking with dude. Yeah. And she wasn't trying to give me a chance. That hurt me worse. Mm. Damn. You feel me? Yeah. Now I'm really trying to find had, this nigga. Yeah. Where she at now? Damn. She huh? <laughs> Where she at now? Huh? Where she at now? <laughs> Oh, uh, she still live down in Louisiana. <laughs> he said, yeah, like, like, no, we thing. just got to the point, like right before I had my baby, uh, to where we just don't fuck with each other at all. But she, how many kids did. you got? One. Well, two. Oh, you got two. Okay. Yeah. Why? Why you was trying to find a nigga? So you was that bad. Die by it. Hey, nigga, be talking nigga be about that shit when you really fucking with something. <laughs> huh. And it's yours. If you if if you used to never get nothing getting taken from you. And, it, and you like, but at that point mine's? it wasn't yours. That was plural. That was y'all's. <laughs> that yeah, wasn't that was singular. Yours. That brain. wasn't singular. Well, no listen, more. I just, I just did time. You feel me? Mm-hmm. With her, n- nothing but her. Yeah, I'm talking about really damn and faithful. You yeah. know, you, you know, got to be. You feel yeah. me? But yeah. at the same time, like, yeah, this shit crazy. This is mine. Yeah, I told this motherfucker every night. Right. I told her my feelings and shit. Right. When she crying and shit, I, t- I listen to that shit. You feel right. what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. She wrote me letters spraying her perfume on that shit. I got two thousand pictures of it in my fucking mail and shit. Right. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> shit. So, so now. She like, no, nigga, this is over. Yeah. You ain't never find a nigga. So would you run over with your life? Nah, I uh <laughs> <laughs> Nah. I ain't gonna lie, like I say, I've been home five, may make five whole years. And I and we just this last year got to the point where we not fucking uh fucking with each other like that and all, but I still love her. But through all the me being home, I still gave back to her, help her with shit, cause she did the same for me. How do it feel when you say you love her? How do it feel when you be in relationships with other women? Do they know that? See, that's the thing. I don't really do relationships since her. But what do you do? I, I think 
I done had two relationships with her, like real, like, because I'm, I'm slow. Before I get in a relationship, I want you to really know me and be like my best friend because you got to, I got times where I don't want to talk to nobody and you need to understand that. You feel me? I got shit going on in my brain. I might jump up on my sleep, sweating, swinging all type of shit. You got to know what yeah. the fuck going on. Yeah. But any chick I really deal with on that level, like even my my, my BM, I tell her like shit, hey, this is hell, this is my, love my life. This is my person. This is my perfect person. Perfect person at one time. See, you, you, you that's get, deep. They got to understand it. You know, he 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 deep because you know, because it might get to the point where one day she like <laughs> when my baby came, she wrote she wrote him like, let me see him. She, she wrote my BM, which was unexpected to me. I'm like, damn, she want to see. You know what I'm saying? But, For me, a bitch yeah. double cross me, you're done. Mm. You're not the love of my life no more, bitch. But it's different though. You and why like, you probably like I said, you probably can relate. Yeah. But if you had somebody, even though they fucked up, but they said the visit at the visit, phone call. The I phone know. See, my joint different. He met my, a chick on on mediaimate.com, Bitch was sixty three. He, he came home, did the bitch dirty, man. No, he see, lying. Yeah. Let, Let me see this. Let me see this. Hold on, hold on. I never had a woman that went to the bit with me and done the whole bit with me. Yeah. I meet chicks in jail. They they come, they ride for six months, disappear, come back, disappear. Mm. But I had the understanding that when you go to jail, you got to share your chick. Right. So it's not like a chick ain't no life don't stop. Mm. You was you was you know putting a baby leg in her, fucking the shit out of her on the streets. You got it's gonna happen. Right. It's gonna happen when you when you go. So you yeah. I'm never in the illusion that oh everything cool. I know that she come to see me. I'm cool with that. Might yeah. send me some money. Cool with that. Uh, write me, send me some pictures. I'm cool with that, but she going fuck out there. Yeah, yeah, so yeah but it's a, it's a difference too because yeah. you the had time. a twenty ball. Yeah, he yeah. had you two, yeah, in, you, shit, yeah, two yeah, years. Yeah. She could have done that, and you yeah. won in at seventeen. <laughs> but see, I, ain't gonna, I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna bullshit. She did, and they did the whole thing. You know, she fucked up at the end. And see, as soon as I was fresh out the scene, probably like a day or two, I'm telling her, "Listen, this happening. I don't know what about to happen or how it gonna go. I don't, you feel, I don't know who did or not. <laughs> you feel me? But Damn. Yeah, I don't, I ain't know what happened. You feel me? I'm like, listen, yada yada yada, and so so many words. I might be gone for a little minute. You don't gotta stay. If you do, I appreciate it. What you wanna do? Like, nah, I ain't leaving. And she kept that word. So, but you was locked up for for attempt or something, right? Yeah, attempt. Mm -hmm. But I had three different cases. I had a battery case. I already don't I don't born for, and then I caught the attempt. Uh, and then I, when I bought it out on that, two weeks later, I came back for a gun. Mm. So Damn. fighting the attempt you put a hole on me. That that would had to be the scariest moment of your life, huh? Uh, cause you it, know if you lose, it, it was scared <sighs> leaving the scene, and then after about two weeks, I thought I was good. I'm like, damn, damn, they ain't can't got me yet, and they ain't never put no notice out or whatever. Man, shit, they I was uh, arguing with a bitch. You feel me? A little, a little yeah. The one that was causing problems, you feel me? I was, mm -hmm. I think she, she used to be a little chick. I used to give, you know, you, you got a little sugar mama give you a little money. Mm -hmm. I don't like to spend my money for my pack, so I'm getting it from her. Mm -hmm. You feel me? She pull up tripping. Oh, you ain't fucking with me, but you get my like, fuck you. Here, 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 cause I'm from my partner, so I'm yeah. like, bitch ain't about to hold me about no money. Throw yeah. money in her face, get into it. Uh -huh. Oh, bitch, I'm about to show you. She showed me. She called the people. They pull clean up. Mm -hmm. Gun yeah, in I'm the car. She said, I'm gonna show mm -hmm. you. Yeah. So, Damn, she she, she 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 got a nigga booked, huh? She she still, she been writing. She apologized. So you 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 a sensitive gang? No, I ain't forgive her. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm just growing it up so I can I can speak now. Oh, it's just okay. like the nigga who sold me the gun. Like, cause I I wasn't never a dumb nigga. You feel yeah. me? I, I don't buy stolen guns. You mm -hmm. feel me? If I was buy a nigga off the street, I used to normally I check the serial numbers. Mm -hmm. But when I caught the attempt, uh, as soon as I get back, I gotta get to something. You feel what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So the understanding me and dude had was it was right. But mm -hmm. I ain't never check it. Right. It was one of them slip ups in my I, I okay. didn't check this shit. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I wish I checked it. <laughs> the, the, I, listen, I bumped into the dude. You hear me? I swear I bumped into the dude. And I'm so much grown or not. You hear me? Because yeah. when I was in jail, I said, Boy, if I ever see this nigga, oh, I'm, I'm going to boogie him and cook him. Over you. Uh -huh. yeah. and, I, and he told you just kept apologizing. I'm like, it's good, fool. I, 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 can't, I can't beating you ain't going to fix no. That trauma oh, yeah. that I just went through. Yeah, I feel yeah. like I feel like the, the 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 prison took the fight out you on that type Man, of time. What? Like you know what I'm I ain't chilling. Mean. I ain't going fucking around no more. Man, listen, when I say I gave, I didn't give a fuck about anything, but my mama and my two little brothers, I didn't give a fuck about nothing. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't walk through literally, not even trying to. I didn't walk through shootouts before. Mm -hmm. 
type just I'm not even here. I don't feel nothing. You feel me? When I went into that cell. You felt it. It, then it really hit when the fucking, the label started calling because I hit XXL uh, when I went in. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what? So you want to XXL while you in jail? Yeah. So you, then, you call home, niggas oh, like, yeah, nigga, you want to cover just call over oh. the label? Yeah. Man, I got on the phone. The nigga who told on my calling, I said, listen, I don't give a fuck. I'll come home and tell everybody they lying on you. <laughs> just let me home. <laughs> but he didn't want to sign the affidavit, but he didn't, he didn't come to court or nothing, though. Oh, okay. But they wasn't trying to hear that. They was The people really were trying to squeeze me on some other shit. Yeah. And they just had so many cases. They were like, we're just going to hold you. I, went to tw- I had 24 court dates. Ah, on the 23rd, damn. I got a, finally got my offer. Yeah. Damn. So let me ask you a question. So knowing you was facing all that, right? But at the same time, the label's calling. Did that switch your mindset to, man, if I get the fuck out of here, it's on. Fuck that dumb shit. Yeah. It's I, on. When I was in there, I was like, man, because I, I used to tell G, I said, G, I ain't going to lie, bitch. When I come home, I don't even want to have a gun no more. I told him that. Yeah. yeah. So so sometimes, you know, jail could be some of the best shit that happened to a nigga. Sitting down for a little bit. Prison. Prison. prison, yeah, yeah, that prison. you use yeah, in prison. Because yeah. a lot of these young niggas, yeah, they don't jail, know. The, they, they, they don't know. That's the they, go, they go to the county. Yeah, they go to the par- we call yeah. we got parish jails, yeah. and they think this shit. Oh, this shit ain't nothing. Yeah, that shit ain't nothing. You yeah. feel me? When and I ain't gonna lie, our parish jail that thing. You, they call that bitch Bay Mangola. You know, mm-hmm. you get fucked up when you fall on the wrong wrong line. Absolutely. But when you go to prison though, that shit completely different. Yeah. You yeah. might you might fall fall into a hundred bun camp where you might love it. You know what I'm saying? You might sneak some kisses in from the bitches. Might get a, you know, might end up fucking something. Mm-hmm. You feel me? But you go on here to like Tallulah. Yeah. Like I say, I, I was, when I was in Tensaw, I'm living good. Phones. I'm sending phones. I got five phones on the bunk. You know what I'm saying? I'm in this bitch eating shrimp po' boys, watching anime. I done got a nigga to make me a little movie thing to hold the phone. We, I'm chilling in this bitch. Yeah. So I get on live like a dumbass, eating my mm. shrimp po' boy. And pull me. They came from jail. Ran, they done came ran down on me, but I got a white boy above me. All he wants is a cigarette a day. Soon as people get in, I knock on that motherfucker. He reach his hand down. I push everything in his hand. You feel me? He gonna take the lick. So I, pop, I gave him everything, but I forgot some some little weed in my pocket. Mm. So you <laughs> was I, in I, it. I really trapped you in was this in bitch. It. You in there smoking five he cell he fucks. I don't even smoke, but you know in jail you just need some, yeah. You know anything to get you by. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Man, so jam me up, man. They pulled me home. Um, they do uh, DB court. They say, you know the reason why we pulled you in here. Nah, man, y'all, y'all really fucking with me bad. Who, who, you know, talking shit. Mm-hmm. And pull, we'll go straight to YouTube. Mm-hmm. Red O'Bang, rapper eating shrimp whole boy in jail. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. <laughs> what made you do that? Huh? What made you didn't think they gonna come I never even had them? live before. Yeah. Live wasn't on, wasn't a thing. Uh, it wasn't made when I was free. Yeah. yeah. So hey, I was just, I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's up. So, so when you was in it, in, in it you want live? I was live. So you was like, oh shit, you can go live on this shit? Yeah. Man, Everybody man, talking, nigga. see him in this bitch. They see him. I'm I'm really in this motherfucker. Right. You know I mean? and, and, and you got the phone. I'm you popping. Got the I'm popping. Hey, believe it or not, that shit probably helped you. <laughs> <laughs> I was too comfortable. That, but what I'm saying is that shit probably helped you in the rap shit. Because you yeah. know motherfuckers love to see shit. Right. Like I'm saying you, you really seeing the real trenches right. right now. Absolutely. You feel me? So, you look up that shit probably got millions of views. Yeah. Huh? Well, yeah. <laughs> no, I can't. One of them got pulled out. I think the jail got to probably got to pull it down. Oh, okay. But after that, they took like sixty days from me, and uh, so I, I'm fucked up. I got popped for the weed that time because they couldn't find a phone, so yeah. they couldn't charge with me. They called, charged for social media. Come back out the hole. I paid the guard like a thousand dollars to get out the hole. Uh, I'm popping. You feel mm-hmm. me? I'm like, my, let me let me get to the, the hole. This bitch a, a, a four man cell, I think maybe about four and six feet, one toilet, and there's six of us in this motherfucker. So when I first come in this motherfucker, you know, it, it's a it's a line. You feel me? First you need to come in, you come on the floor. You feel me? Only time it's any light in this motherfucker is when we eating and when they open that motherfucker to give somebody medicine or passes God, out. Damn, food. that's a real real hole. It's a bit dark. It was the first time I ever felt like I was going insane. Besides the time where I, I found when I realized she was cheating, I'm on the phone yelling and I didn't know what the fuck I was telling her. I couldn't, I couldn't, I would wake up out of my sleep 
think like I dreamed them up. The guard came through me the phone like, oh, I jumped up and be like, the fuck. Then I stopped. I'm like, fuck, I'm tripping. You feel me? Like mm-hmm. I'm really you tripping. Slow down. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I couldn't tell my dreams from reality. Mm-hmm. At a Cause it was dark like that in there. It wasn't just the dark. It was just sitting in that that. It was just sitting in that one spot the whole fucking time, and, and I'm a thinker. You feel me? It's so much shit going on, and I'm tr- my 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 paperwork fucked up to where they got me doing seven flat instead of just seven nine aggravated. So I'm trying to get that fixed. I'm really immediate release. You feel me? Without before they took the time, so I'm really I'm like I'm standing hell high like I said, man. Tell my people get the paperwork right. So before they take this good time from me, right? So that's so that's why I had to go to reentry class. But that's the that was the scariest shit ever to me. What and about I seen some shit in that motherfucker? What about you, love? You no, been in the hole? Our hole wasn't like that. Our hole it was bright, you know, because right in front of this, the it was the bars, but right in front of the bars in the hallway it was like you could see outside. Yeah. So it wasn't like like, and it was only two men. Yeah, we had we had one little thing like that, and it had a latch on it. Oh, y'all was in the fucking dark. But uh, but. Did you ever feel like you was going, you was losing it in the Fuck hole? No. no, because it was like it wasn't the shit that he's talking about. It wasn't even nowhere near that shit. We got you know food. You uh, you get some kind of a lot of jails di- built different. So, so, some for one, jail ain't what the fuck it's supposed to be. It's supposed mm-hmm. to be rehabilitation and getting yeah, you ready no, back for that. society. Mm-hmm. Our shit is punishment. Yeah, punishment. <laughs> you feel me? When yeah. you get out of line, they they try to correct your ass and show you. You ain't shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like fucking Catahoula. Anybody go up there, they them white boy, country white boy don't play. They're gonna beat the shit out of you, put you in the cell, they're gonna spray you with bear mace. They got the bear mace that mm-hmm. big joint. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna fuck you up. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And then once 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 you and that bitch uh, 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 they spraying it in the dough and they grabbing a little towel and, and putting it on the towel so the air can't get in that bitch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They fuck you all the way over yeah, that joint. Yeah. Yeah, he gonna spray you down. Take you about two weeks to get your vision back and shit. Shit be bleeding. Man. Shit eyes be screaming. Nigga nah, I'm toe there. up in that motherfucker. I'm, I'm in that bit hotter, so I'm, you know, I, people don't know jagging off in jail, especially when you by yourself, is kind of a joke sometimes. You feel mm-hmm. me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking around. I ain't know I still had mace on my hand. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that nigga put his dick on fire. <laughs> yeah, nigga dick like I can't see. <laughs> Because up there it's a it's a dormitory, so it's two hundred man dorm. <laughs> this is the first time I get some privacy time. Yeah. You try <laughs> to go to work, put, nigga, put his dick on fire. This nigga crazy. Nigga want to go to work with mace all over this. Yeah. Shit. You know you can't you can't fuck around ten up because you fucking ten up. You know you really violating. Yeah. So yeah. nigga, you really got the right to go ahead and fuck you up in that motherfucker. Yeah. So I don't, you know what I'm saying I wasn't popping around a nigga. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Shit, I got you got you got to make the best of what you getting right now. Right. Yeah. All right, bam. That, that's that's another thing in jail. You feel me? Like your mind try to make the best of everything. All right, cool. I just got fucked. They just made the shit out of me. I'm by myself. But shit, I'm by myself now. I get some peace. Mm-hmm. I ain't got to worry about my nigga snoring like motherfucker. I ain't got to worry about nigga waking up, starting to stab this nigga or arguing and all this shit. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Cause cause sleep is the best thing you can get in jail. Mm-hmm. I know not, some... You don't wake a man out they sleep. No, I, I know you know, some don't niggas. stop that dream. I know some niggas that said they slept their whole bed. Like man, yeah, I, 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 I slept for three years, man. Yeah, like damn, like yeah. That's real because dumb dudes be on medications and shit that yeah. make them sleep. And they just be all fucked up all the time. So you know, it depends. But like that shit, jail. I think people deal with that shit differently. And I think sometimes people, you know, sometimes you you hear sometimes music motherfucker glamorize like they did a bit and all that shit. They ain't do it. That bitch. shit. That shit ain't. You said pre trial inside a counter or past jail. Yeah. Around all your partners. You made sure you went on a GD line or something so you wouldn't get shipped up the road to, to one of those transports. Cause you know if you was by you was by yourself, a nigga would slap the shit out you. Mm-hmm. Take all your zoos. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's they real. did low. They took his zoos, his zoos, zoos and wham whams plenty of time. Take shit from me, nigga. Now ladies and now. <laughs> Go Debbie out, Skinny. Man. Niggas ain't take nothing now. Yeah. <laughs> This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by Barstool Sportsbook. Now, what's the best way to online gamble? Barstool Sportsbook. Who gives you the best parlays with the best odds and the best bonus money? Barstool Sportsbook. I mean, 
But before I go any further, I just want to let you know this. You must be 21 in order to download Barstool Sportsbook. And if you have a gambling problem, 1-800-GAMBLER. But let me also tell you this. You want to win some money? You gambling? I can't guarantee you're going to win some money, but I can guarantee you this. You can get some good parlays on Barstool Sportsbook. You see, you see that I'm always winning. You're watching me like Gilly. How you always win? How you always win? I mean, because I get some good parlays on Barstool Sportsbook. So, I mean, when you see me racking it up, running it up, my my Barstool account going, <laughs> boop. Why wouldn't you do the same? Why would you go anywhere else when you could come to Barstool Sportsbook? And it's just like that. You out here, man. And, and how was it for you, like, on the music side? You saying, I got to get the fuck out of here and turn it up. All right, with the music. So, coming in, I was rapping with G-Money. And I never, I never been, on, I'm the type of person, when I st- when I start a plan, I stick to it. Mm-hmm. I'm never thinking about myself or how I can do it by myself or nothing like that. So, when he died, I felt like music was over for me. I'm like. The fuck I'm gonna do now? Don't nobody wanna hear me without him. I don't wanna hear me without him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even know how to work, write two verses. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. So until it, it just took, it took a lot of people talking to me and like, man, you gotta do it for him. Ooh, and really motivating me to work on like I'm like, shit, what else I'm gonna come home to? When I come home to it's either dad or war. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I can't just stay in the city. Right. I'm gonna have to get it on. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So and I'm a see it to believe it type of person also. So people telling me about the labels and shit, but until a motherfucker bring, put something in front of me that look like that, I don't believe the shit. Right. So when I came home, just seeing people gravitate to me, the love, the support, the watching YouTube, seeing what's going on, they made these views. I'm like, nah, I might do got something. Then I dropped a couple of songs. I'm like, hey, good, cool. And then I fucking ground it and dropped a video of Ooh on my page and the shit went crazy viral. I think I got like 200,000 followers in like a week type shit. And damn, I might, I might can do something. You yeah. feel me? That's when I really started believing that I could do something. And it's crazy because the way you come off, motherfucker, I never think that you had so much self-doubt yeah. that you could- no, I got that, bad that, self-esteem problems. You know. I, and I, I share that in my music and my interviews. Like- because, like I say, people be thinking we just motherfucking fucking aliens. Like, we mm-hmm. don't feel nothing. Like you wrong. Superman and yeah, shit. Nah, man, I wake up every day and I I look at something and I see something I don't like. Sometimes I don't even want to look at myself. You feel what I'm saying? Sometimes I, I walk into the room and, like, even clubs, I don't want my music played when I'm there. I don't like too much attention on me. Because in my head, I'm thinking about what people are thinking about looking at me. This nigga think he all that or something. I just really just want to get this by and go fuck home. <laughs> <laughs> you see me? Yeah. And, I, and I really just like, even with my shows, I want to do my show. I want everybody to have a good time so they want to come see me again. I want nobody to mess with me because I don't want to have to react. Because yeah. I don't know, once I react, I don't know how far I'm going to take it. Because right. I got all type of shit in the back of my head that right. I'm ready to get off my chest. Right. You feel me? Yeah. You ever thought about sitting down talking to somebody? Oh, uh, yeah. I want to, but I don't. I, I, I told somebody this. I, I think it'll fuck up the music mm. if I healed all the way. You know, I don't mm. want to be healed. <laughs> huh? I don't want to be healed. Like, I, it's gonna I, fuck my music. Up. This yeah. shit authentic. This this me. It is. Same, you know what I'm saying? Like like they're sliding now. Okay, I make a playful song and shit, but that ain't that ain't my my real bass. My mm-hmm. real bass is in in it, everything. The pain. The the the. It is me. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So if I heal all that pain and stuff, what am I have to rap about? You feel me? But it's good that you make, you know, you can make all types of music, man. Sometimes yeah. you got to make the fun records because yeah. sometimes you're in a good mood. Right. You ain't always in a bad mood. But I see every time I bump into you, nigga, you seem like you you, you to be in the best happy, mood. Yep. What's up? You be happy You be shit. grinning. You yeah. be smiling. You be My, but at the same time shining too, and shit. I be happy to see niggas like y'all. Like, yeah. I grew up knowing your name. You yeah. feel me? I see you. I done learned your story. I'm like, man, that's, that shit motivational. Like, motherfucker, yeah. I, done, I done been next to niggas. Man, the nigga tell me last thing, last popping artist was when he hit the when he hit the uh the cell was fucking Ron DMC, niggas who done lost it. You mm-hmm. feel me? You yeah. got your head, on. y'all doing something. You feel me? Right. 
That shit motivated. I'm like, shit, I'm, I'm a rapper too now. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> I was, then I be fucking when niggas know my name. Like, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like, motherfucking Kanye knew my name. That shit fucked me up. I had a fan moment. I just shook the nigga hand three, four times. Like, you feel me? Yeah. Like, but I just fucking seen Drake the other week. And I'm... I had another fan moment because like this fucking Drake, bro. Man, ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. So I done met Wayne before. <laughs> Wayne, Wayne has saluted me before. So, but you know, don't nobody want you to touch Wayne inside the club. Uh -huh. Don't touch Wayne. Yeah, then gonna fuck you up. So yeah. I was just standing on side. The niggas like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The nigga Drake turned around and was looking around. And he looked. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. Then Wayne turned around. Like, like hard, hard. You feel me? I'm yeah. like, man, this shit crazy. I'm gonna go to the studio right now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking right. So that's motivation. I need man. shit like that. Yeah, like, yeah. I really like when I say I need shit. I need shit like that because I get to my points where it ain't just doubt. I just, I just don't feel like I'm that. You feel me? Mm -hmm. When I get a plaque in, that shit. Damn, I did that. Now I want some more. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. I need it. Well, that's good, man. One thing about one thing I can say about Drake is. He embraced the young niggas. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, I, I, should, I, I should salute the nigga for that. Up. Yeah, he do. He embraced a lot of the young niggas. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the young niggas got their start in the game because Drizzy done jumped on a remix or, right. you know what I mean? So shout out to Drake for being the biggest nigga in the world, but not always carrying it like I'm the biggest <laughs> yeah. nigga in the world. Yeah. Fucking with people that's you know trying to I mean? come up, you know? Right. That's everything. Now, <laughs> with you, uh, you, 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 you know, you from uh, Louisiana. It's a lot of y'all down there. NBA, I see y'all, y'all solid. Like, you know, I'm just saying it ain't nothing there no more, which is yeah. a good thing. Uh, with that situation, like I said, it was never nothing, but it was more so people around each other. Yeah. Uh, people around you not being adults, letting ish, letting things go farther than what it gotta yeah. go, and also YouTube YouTubers. Mm -hmm. And the fucking conspiracy makers and shit like uh -huh. that. That shit's so fucking bad. Yeah. Because when the fucking feds raid your house and shit, and they, t like, it, that's that's one of the shit, shit that just piss a nigga off. When the feds raiding your motherfucking house, you sitting there wondering why, and they trying to tell you about YouTube videos they done watched. Uh -huh. What the fuck? Yeah, right. what? I, I don't even know. <laughs> you feel me? Right. So, that whole thing that was... Just us trying to show that it ain't never been a problem. You know that's what beautiful, saying? man. That that's some good. And, I, and I, I I ain't gonna just throw it away. Like when shit like that happened, right? People, two people can have no problems at all. But the YouTube videos, people talking, his fans under my page, my parents under his page, and the shit, it, it'll make yeah. a motherfucker like it ain't no problem. But man, fuck this nigga. Right, right. <laughs> you feel yeah, what I'm right. saying? So. It's just a it's a mixture of a lot of shit, but there ain't never been no problem. That's, that's good. I'll let us see y'all niggas do a record together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just on some, you know, we we both from we both from the from the town, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it'll be big for the town, cause ain't no matter how artists look at it, if you got any type of recollection of we got beef, we got beef, we don't fuck with each other, we on the, and then y'all niggas get together and do a record, that's gonna be the biggest shit. Mm. All the time because motherf motherfuckers love a, a story. Yeah, they back fucking with each other, man. Mm. They, so a lot of times that shit uh, help niggas elevate, get some money, and that's really what we come into this rap shit for mm. is to get some money to be recognized. Like, yeah, nigga, I'm, a lot of niggas don't even want the money when they first start off. They just want the recognition of I'm that nigga. I'm hot. Then when you get that, now it's like, no, I got to get some money with this shit. But niggas be really trying to prove themselves, like on some basketball shit. Yeah. Like, when you go play a motherfucker, you ain't like, I'm trying to go to the NBA. No, I'm coming here to bust your ass, my nigga. What? Yeah. what? You feel what I'm saying? Then you get to college, you're like, oh, I could be a first round pick. Yeah. What the fuck? So I, don't, I don't be on it. I got to say, as a, as a, that's, a, I ain't going to say as a young nigga shit, because I still feel like I'm young, but I, re, I was raised around, I stay out completely around niggas who older than me. Yeah. So, and I'm always got an open ear. I don't feel like I just know it all. And on top of that, I know what I done did. I know what I would do. I know I'm going to protect myself. You feel me? And I know I'm going to stand on business when it's time. So when I walk in the room, I'm walking in with a smile. And I'm going to shake your hand. I'm going to give you respect because I feel like I'm the biggest gangster walking in this bitch. You feel mm -hmm. me? And I, nine times ten, you ain't did nothing that damn and near what I didn't did. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm not threatened by you. You get what I'm right. saying? If I was... It'll go somewhere, you feel right. me? But I get very man in respect because I want mine. 
You know what I'm saying? And I and I walk with it. Absolutely. It's that's major. that's that's what I say. That's why I say me and Wallow don't really have no issues because we lead with respect. Yeah, a lot of niggas don't know respect. Now. You know what I mean? They, take, they they feel like respect is, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you supposed to walk in the room and be like, yeah, fuck every nigga in this motherfucker. Nah, shit, cause it got some bad motherfuckers in Absolutely. this motherfucker. Absolutely. And you got and and it's and it's, it's gangsters everywhere. Cause just like you gangsters, they got a nigga who's gonna go more gangsters than you. Right. Like I say, when I got shipped and I went to fucking Tallulah, D on building four, I gonna never forget. Like, cause I can say I done been to like. Three, four different citizens now, so I feel like I've seen everything. I ain't got to see niggas get raped, anything. Ain't nothing about to surprise me now. Right. But I never walked inside a dorm and a fucking knife fight was really a fucking, like a, a football game in that bitch. Mm-hmm. All in, so I'm on the phone right now. A nigga hand me the phone and hand me a knife too. Now, I ain't, I ain't a knife slinger. Mm-hmm. I'm going to fight the fuck out you. Mm-hmm. I, ain't, I ain't never hit no nigga knife because I'm trying to get back home. See, these niggas here, they got 30, life, 20. 15, I'm just in this bitch not telling nigga what they I got. Gladiators. So I get the fuck. You feel me? Yeah. I'm playing cards so with nigga, nigga, nigga like, yeah, I got to fuck with you with that music when I get up there. I'm like, shit, what you got left? I'm like, shit, I mean, like about eight more. Hey, what? Eight more summers. All right. Hey, my food ready? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. we ain't even in the same conversation. Right. So I'm going to let me leave you with respect right, right now. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So, man, nigga passed me the phone and a knife. All right, whatever. Hey, hit your bunk, bitch. Hit your bunk. Get on top. What the fuck going on? Everybody get on top of their bunk. They make I-10. Everybody cover the shit up. It's 100 niggas on this one aisle. Got it blocked off. These niggas in here trying to stab each other eyes out. Mm. I'm like, oh, fuck no. This is what I got to do? Yeah, that's not it. Nah, shit no. I fight all fucking day. Mm -hmm. Well, you talking about stabbing a nigga, getting rebooked for attempted murder? The one, what I just fucking beat? Mm-hmm. Not beat, but they dropped it down. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, they no. tripping. Let me get the fuck out this bitch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? I won't go home. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get talking the fuck about out. Talking all that shit. They, all right. Y'all think y'all gangsters going to these little past jails around your partner and shit. Go on and get some of this series and take your ass and get DOC processed. To that prison. 00727612. When you get that number, you gonna find out what the fuck really going on around this motherfucker. When you mm-hmm. when you got you you might walk in that bitch. You, you know what I'm saying? Cause niggas like to be dressed up, mm-hmm. all swaggy and stuff. Mm-hmm. And they come in, they colorful socks and shit. As soon mm-hmm. as you hit that tear, man, got your hair all laid out and mm-hmm. shit. Oh, this nigga sweet. Now you can find the nigga who won't fuck you. Mm-hmm. Damn. <laughs> mm-hmm. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, What's niggas ain't like, these these niggas. They be gangster until they see that other side of the fence. A mm-hmm. lot of you niggas I don't exactly never get to see that fence. You feel me? Low was gangster to old head walked up on him and gripped him from behind. And he was like, get off me, old head. said, listen, nigga, see, see, see that <laughs> fight for making love tonight, nigga. What the fuck is you doing? Kissed him on his neck. Say that fucking fight for making love. <laughs> I don't know what. I just You're heard lying, that story. Man. I don't know what happened later on that night. <laughs> you lying. fucking with I, you. <laughs> lying. I just know old head gripped him from behind. He tried to get about that shit. Old head said, don't fight it, nigga. Don't fight. Don't fight. <laughs> Save that energy for making love, nigga. I was like, nigga. <laughs> Called me and told me that I was like, "What? Where cuz at now?" They said uh, in the cell with old. <laughs> I was like, "Oh, that nigga, that nigga lying." But I'm gonna say this though, like this episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by Omega Accountant Solutions. Attention to all small business owners with five to five hundred employees. You were a responsible business owner who continued to pay taxes and employ staff during the pandemic. Omega Accountant Solutions is the small business champion, helping you to, in your business, get back the money you deserve through the CARES Act. Recover the payroll taxes you overpaid as a refund up to $26,000 per employee, even if you got the PPP loan. So that means if you got five employees, 10 employees, 15 employees, you can get $26,000 per employee. Learn if you're a good candidate within 10 minutes of free consultation. So it's only going to take 10 minutes to learn if you could get this money or not. Omega was recently named number one best ERC company for getting your ERC funds by Merchant Maverick, a small business comparison and review site. There's still time to find out if you qualify and file for claim. Again, that's up to 26000 per employee. And Million Dollars Worth of Game and Omega Accountant Solutions are teaming up to provide resources to small businesses in the Philadelphia area. Attend this exclusive event 
and learn more about the Employee Retention Credit Act and how it can help your small business with your team of professionals. A link in the bio. Apply now to attend me and our small business event at www.mdwogsmallbiz.com. Apply right now. This episode of Me and I Was Worth a Game is brought to you by Dodge. There's a new breed of hornet sweep in the nation. Hornets. They are fast, powerful, and aggressive. It's the all-new Dodge Hornet. This is Dodge's first ever high-performance crossover. The thing flexes a two-liter hurricane, four turbo engine impacts up to 268 horsepower. <laughs> That's how the Hornet sound. The Dodge Hornet is fast, mean, and ready to sting. Mean. Bzz, bzz, bzz. So when you're out and you're looking for cars, why would you look for anything other than a Dodge, Dodge. Hornet? Build yours at Dodge.com. So you can go to Dodge.com and you can build your Dodge Hornet from scratch. Exactly right? how you want it. Exactly how you want it. It's understand. Dodge Hornet is the new wave. Go get you one. Welcome to another episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game Business Spotlight. Listen, where we give you that news that you can use, yes. we give you the game, and we get you yes. off the couch. Like Gil used to be a couch warrior. Fuck you might be a here. homeless sexual where you're running around dealing with women based off your homelessness, and you're trying to figure out life. And um, that's, that's the position Gil was when younger days. He was trying to figure out life. He was living from couch to couch. Uh, eating up all the kids' juicy juices, and he got some game, and now he's up. But as many people just just like him that's sitting on their couch right now that's going to get this game today from my man, 1K Funding University, Darius, man. He ready come on here, man. Get y'all the game, man. Mm. And, and that's what it's about. Tell them what you got going on, D. Yes, sir. So my name is Darius Benders, and what we do is we help entrepreneurs uh, obtain a 750 credit score and get up, up to 150K in funding in 90 days. And, and, and how you do that, man? How you go about that? How do, we, how do I even, like, step to you? But first of all, before mm -hmm. we even go... We got to let y'all know what 1K Funding University is doing. They give you a free workshop and a free ebook. All you have to do is go to mdwebook.com. Mdwebook.com right now. Also follow him out there on Darius Benders. Check him out. But listen, he's giving out a free workshop and a free ebook that's going to give you the game. Now, tell me, how did you get, first of all, when was you in a bad situation? Mm -hmm. When would you, you know, um, things wasn't going right? You was fucked up. You was trying to figure it out. I don't know if you was a couch warrior. Uh, you know, dealing more with like a, he seemed dealing, like a more like a middle room warrior, <laughs> middle room warrior, couch warrior, or he could be a you know uh, he could be a basement warrior. Yeah. I don't know, but I don't know if you was in that situation or you was living from chick to chick just to keep a roof over your you know over your head and eating all the kids snacks. I don't know that situation yeah. before you, but where was you at when you was just fucked up in life and things wasn't going right? You got so many people out there they just they're in a bad place and they don't know what's going on for them and they don't understand what they could be. Everybody got ideas. Everybody right. want to be in the business. So where was you at and how did you start? So it was over pandemic. So I was in the nightlife scene before. So I was a club promoter. And then when pandemic came. Strip clubs? Nah, regular clubs. Oh, right. Regular okay. nightclubs, yeah. So, you know, pandemic came and nightlife shut down. I'm from, from Boston up north. Everything shut down. So I had to figure it out and um, just trying new things. You know, not really having access to no other skills at the time. So then I went to this conference and I learned the whole credit game. And then I started taking mentorships, courses. But I was I was broke. I'm not going to lie. And then um, the credit changed So you my started life. with nothing? Started with nothing. And you said, I'm a, you took the courses, you, I mean, you went to the conferences and stuff, mm. and you just went online, did it yourself, or they done it for you? No, at the, at the conference, they was giving out games. So then I tapped in with my guy, my guy Mel. We started just giving game on different things. He was in the credit space. So I was like, yo, just show me, what it, show me how to do it, how it works, and then I'm going to take it and run with it. So I threw him some bread, learned the game, and then um, I went out. I got 167000 in funding in 47 days. And then I use that money to start just paying people for information, right? So learning how to now run a funding business, how to create digital products and help others, right? So that's really how I got into the funding space. And then I just wanted to help others, right? Because I believe, you know, when you over deliver, you'll be overpaid. So then I started putting out digital products. We was hosting live classes, helping people get access to this funding. And I see what it was doing for other people, changing their lives. So now we just trying to grow the business. And now, how, how do, but, but you know, it's like, how do I come to you? I'm, I'm Johnny Nobody. Mm -hmm. my, my credit banged up. I'm out here. I don't know what's going on. I'm on the grand front. And I got a 560, not a car, credit score. <laughs> uh, and I come to you. I just go to this mdwebook.com mm -hmm. and I get in a free workshop. How do I really know what to do in the workshop? Like, what is you teaching in the workshop? So I'm going to break it down, right, <clears throat> from A to Z. So essentially, wherever you're at, first thing we got to do is know what's going on with your credit. Most people think it's about a credit score. 
you know, but it's not. It's about them data points and your credit report. What's data points? So you got data points before you get funding. This is what your credit report needs to look like before getting business funding. You're going to have to have at least 10 primary accounts. Primary accounts, that's anything that's primarily, per, primarily in your name. Whether it's mortgages, student loans, credit cards, lines of credit, these are things that are in your name. After we have ten of those, right? We need vehicles. To make, yeah, vehicles count as primaries too. If you don't have any primaries, you can go check out Self Kickoff Credit Strong. You go check out something called a Tomo card. You can check out an extra debit card. These are all gonna report to the credit bureaus as primary accounts. And then what we could do is most people don't know you can actually report your rent. So we got these two accounts. One's called Rental Karma. One's called Rent Reporters. These are not only going to report as primary accounts, but they're going to allow you to backdate. So let's say you are a couch warrior, right? You have mom's crib. Mm -hmm. Now what you could do is you could backdate that thing all the way to when you were 18 years old. Now when you sign up, it's going to say you got 24 months. But the hack on that is this. It's going to say what was your moving date when you're filling out that application. Whatever you put for your moving date is what's going to report on your credit report the next time it updates. And it's going to update on your credit report in 17 days. So you can literally go add eight primary accounts within 30 days. Now you're in good shape. Now what we got to do is we got to make sure that you got no lates, no derogatories. If you do got that going on, we're going to have to identify those negative accounts. Then we're going to have to dispute them, right? A couple of things you can look for when you're looking to dispute negative items is there's something called consumer law. There's also a factual dispute, but making sure that your personal information is all exactly the same, right? Now within those negative accounts, like let's say you got a late payment on a Bank of America card. You have a bunch of late payments. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go check out that Bank of America late, uh, late payment. Now we're going to look at things like open date. We're going to look at the amount it was late, how late it was, where it was 30, 60, 90 days. If those things don't all 100% and entirely are accurate across all three barrels, that account got to go. All right? So that's how we can clean up lates and negatives. All right? Once we're in that shape, we want to make sure that we go get some personal funding, right? Because personal funding, you're going to need at least two credit cards with a $5,000 limit, preferably a 10000 The way we do that, y'all probably already know, go to some credit unions. Right, quick play y'all could do is if y'all don't want to waste time on inquiries, what y'all could do is go check out some pre-qualified banks, Nassau Federal Credit Union, mm -hmm. right, Dover Federal uh, Dover Credit Union. You can go check out um FNBO, right? And the reason you want to start with these banks is because they're gonna let you know if you got access to the bag before wasting the time getting the inquiry, then you gotta go back and remove those inquiries before running more plays. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's what our personal profile need to look like. Next thing we gotta do is set up our business the right way, right? Most people they just get an LLC and they like. Where, where, where's the money at? But now we got to make sure our business looked the part. It's all about playing the part. So we get you an EIN number. We'll get you a business address, business phone number, right? A, uh, a business email. Now, a big mistake. So when you say, mm -hmm. when you say uh, we, we're the LLC EIN, mm -hmm. business address, you talking about like a suite number? Uh, like like a suite number at like a, a P.O. box? Nope. So that's, that's what I'm going to say. The biggest mistake a lot of people make when getting the address is they go get it attached to a P.O. box, a Staples, a FedEx, a UPS. It's just because they simply ain't doing their due diligence. All you got to do is before you purchase the actual address, you want to copy it, put it in Google, make sure it's attached to an actual commercial building, right? So it could be like a downtown building, anywhere that's just a commercial building, right? But if it's one of those addresses, like what you mentioned, a P.O. box, a UPS, you're going to be red flag. So so you're getting the same, like like it, this this everything you're saying is 100% legit that you could get this type of yeah. P.O. Like, like you get a box and like a building, but it's not a, a Staples or it's not a FedEx long as it's a box in the building. Exactly. And yep. So as long as that building is allowed to take mail, right? And the, and the banks can look it up and see that's an actual building. Yes, that is perfectly legit and fine. Right? So after you get that business address, you want to make sure you get your toll-free number, 800 or 833 number. Just you don't want to have your cell phone on there because again, you just don't look lendable. Right? And then um, in terms of your email, just go get an info at yourbusiness.com, uh, a support at yourbusiness.com. Don't be walking around, you know, mybusiness at gmail.com. That's not it. Right? They don't look the part. Um, so then next thing we want to do is make sure that we choose a, a low risk industry. All right. So, you know, if you put like, you know, let's say Darius is credit repair company, that's a red flag. I'm not about to get no bread. Right. If I put, you know, my cannabis company, I ain't going to get no bread or I'm going to get very little. So what you want to do is I use names like solutions, enterprise. Um, you could use. Uh, and, and that's legit. You can use any name you want. Yeah, absolutely. No problem. One hundred percent legit. Absolutely. And then when they ask you what's the nature of your business, the same thing. I tell people keep it simple. I do uh, consulting for this company. So let's say I'm in uh, trucking, right? That's a high risk industry. So we can use that. When they ask me, oh, so you're a trucking? Nah, I consult. I help people in trucking starting start their businesses the right way. And that's how you get around that whole high risk thing. And it's one hundred percent legit. All right, now, what was the first move? Cold motherfucker, right? Yeah, here. this motherfucker spitting. 
Now, what, what, you put know, an album out. Yeah, he he, he was def, he definitely was rapping on some bald shit. Once again, you get that free workshop and a free ebook. He's giving out a free work. He's going to do a free workshop and give it to you just like this. And he's going to give you a free ebook. Right. All you have to do is go to mdwebook.com, mdwebook.com, and you can check a bunch of his workout on Darius Bender's IG. That's all you got to do. You see it all on him. What's his name? Now, D, mm-hmm. this the whole thing. Is it? Is the minimum? What is the minimum amount that anybody could get? Is it? Is everybody thinks different, right? So, so it's about your personal credit score. So, all this funding up before the business start, everything start with the personal. Everything that's the foundation for everything. You got bad credit, it's it's, it's tough. You're not gonna get that much funding. There's a couple little cards you could get, but you're not gonna get no big funding. That personal credit plus that business being structured the right way, that's how you go out and get the bag. Then you check out what I like to do for my business funding. I start with those uh, those pre-qualified or soft pull business lenders, right? So what I'll do is I go check out like GM Marcus Card. What's, what's a soft pull? So a soft pull means that you're not going to get a hard inquiry when you apply with the, for the product, right? So GM Marcus Card, they allow a soft pull on the business side. They're going to pull from TransUnion. So they're giving anywhere from ten dollars to $40,000, no doubt, as long as you your credit is in pro, your credit explain, is in, explain no doubt. Yeah, absolutely. So there's certain lenders who they are going to approve you based off your personal credit report, your credit, um, sorry, them data points, and then how your business is set up and then how you fill out the applications. So certain things they're looking for applications like stability. So when you put, you know, they say, hey, how long have you lived at your address? So how long have you worked somewhere? And it's like six months, one year, and they see all these different addresses. That's a red flag because you don't even look stable, bro. How are we supposed to come and give you 20, 30,000? Well, your name's got four different spellings in it. How are we supposed to give you 20, 30,000? So then that's when you don't get those, what I call automatic approvals, where they might ask for a little more information to verify that you are who you say you are. That's major. So mm-hmm. I got my I got my personal together, mm-hmm. got all that stuff moved around. And the first thing that I do, like what is the truest first thing that you do? Because I know you said a lot there. What is the first thing you do once you get it? Do it need to be at a certain number that really get them to open the door what's the number what's like a a sweet spot on a credit report for for them to get or is it that is is it the number mixed with the stuff you got on there or is it just the number so the, so the minimum number would be 680 plus if you got 680 plus and you got all those data points we can go get you the bag typically the number in the report is going to uh is going to be typically around the same right they're going to correlate so if you got 720 you probably meeting those data points or close to it if you got a 680 it might be a situation where you know maybe your credit report is strong but you got high utilization so if somebody got high utilization that could that could kill you but they could still go out and get some, some funding especially if the LLC is a little older Right, so I get people who got six six ninety, and they get more than people with a seven fifty because the seven fifty might be a young 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 boy. He might be twenty three, fresh out of college, and all he got is a student loan on his report. He's not about to go get one hundred fifty thousand in funding, right? So that's why. And if you got utilization issues, y'all could go check out a couple of sites. Y'all could what check out happymoney.com. Y'all gonna be able to get a debt consolidation loan, and y'all gonna be able to take that and pay down y'all credit card utilization putting you in position to go out and get some more funding, Mm. right? You can also check out meettally.com. That's another site you could do the same thing. And then you got credible.com slash debt consolidation. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Those are going to be some ways that you can finesse your utilization to be in a position to now go get some more bread. And then also, after you're in position, before you go out and get heavy lines of credit, you want to go check out Trade Line Supply, right? And what what is going to happen is it's essentially like a, you ever heard of an authorized user? Mm-hmm. When you leverage someone else who got good credit, but this site it has a whole bunch of different um, credit uh, card limits, right? So let's say you got you stuck, you you know you got twenty thousand dollars in total utilization, right? Mm-hmm. And you're using ten of it. That's fifty percent utilization. It's gonna be tough for you to go get a bag from the bank. But so let's say we go add on a trade line with a thirty thousand dollar limit. Now that ten thousand out of twenty turns into ten thousand out of fifty k. Now you at twenty percent utilization. So that puts you in a better position to now go out and get some business funding and now run the play that you need to run to be able to go create some income. And now, what is them sites you said again? TradeLineSupply.com for the tr- for to get look at those trade lines and they got a calculator so you can see exactly which one you need. That's gonna help you get to exactly the results you want to get. So, for example, if it was a thirty year um a thirty year trade line with a twenty five thousand dollar limit, you could put that in the calculator, put your other accounts, and then you can see exactly what it's gonna do for you. So you're not guessing. So at the end of the day, once I got that that six eighty plus, is I'm in the game. It's up. I'm all the way in the game, and it's not gonna be. It it, it is it is it is no way I'm not gonna be able to get. You you're saying there's no way you're not gonna be able to get some funding. You're there's not, there's no you, way. You might just get twenty five. You might just get thirty five. But you 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 you're available. You might get fifteen. Yeah. yeah, you 100 ready to go. Those two personal data points, LLC, and understanding the application, what they're looking for. Now, Absolutely. right now, man, what y'all need to do is y'all need to go to MD. 
webook.com so you get this free workshop and you get this free ebook tell them what's in the ebook man in the ebook i'm breaking down the whole credit card stacking game right we didn't even get to go into that today but essentially how to maximize the amount of business funding you get without having to worry about you know inquiries or without having to worry about running out of the amount of funding you could get i'm breaking that down a to z i'm showing you how to structure your credit report perfectly um and then i'm just showing you how to also now start you a funding business so now you could turn around do the same skill that you just learned and go get 10 percent commission on the back end so if i say you'll Gilly or Wallow, listen, if y'all go in y'all group chats right now, who want 50 to 150K in funding? I bet you y'all gonna get at least five, 10 people who's with it. So just like that, you start making money. You're making five, ki- five to 10K a pop per client. Now, mm. in this free workshop, this class is you're gonna give to everybody, everybody that go to mdwebook.com. You go in there, sign up to get on this, this free workshop, the free ebook. You don't need to, have to do nothing out of that. You get anything free and come and dip. You go, let me get all this information and dip mm-hmm. and go do your own thing. This ain't, you ain't paying you nothing. This ain't nothing. Everybody that's coming to that workshop, what you going to teach them in the workshop? I'm breaking it down. It's like most workshops, they be 30, 45 minutes. I'm only an hour and a half, two hours, giving nothing but game, doing live q and I'm getting people funded live. This past week, we funded $225,000 on a live workshop. So if you come, you're going to leave with a bag. Right, and we got people like last week. We had a girl with a six eighty six, and she left with twenty three thousand dollars in funding. So that's gonna be live on the workshop as well. Mm, that's Damn, cool. So right now, so they nigga. come on there, you get it done. Get back. Uh, so nigga, it, it, sh- damn, he doing this shit in real time. You doing real time funding? Real time funding. It, what are we talking about? Nigga, showing you in real life. Uh, I just socked into a nigga pocket like a rock. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for real. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't want to jump in that motherfucking workshop. You hustling backwards, nigga. You Back. super hustling back. Once again, I need y'all to go to mdwebook.com. Follow my man Darius Benders on uh, Instagram. Check him out. Check all his contact. He's giving up a free, a free workshop and a free ebook. Yes. One K funded university. Yes. Check him out. Stop playing game. This was another episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game. Been the spotlight, and it's just like that, right? You know, a couple weeks ago, man, you was all over the internet, man. All over the internet. What's time? Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> on trips and shit, you know, you know, you was getting saluted too. You a BMF, man. But see, this is the thing I'm gonna tell you before you say, I'm the type of nigga I like pissing people off. So when I get on that, I might just sit there and think, man, what the fuck will piss people off or make them just mad today? And I sit there and just tweet that shit or just post. I just and I also say whatever the fuck I want. That's why my songs be so like raunchy and explicit because I'm just I'm gonna save the fuck on my mind. Everybody else want to see it. You feel me? And, you always, and I see you always going at the women on Twitter. Man, these listen, that's another thing. That's why these women getting all these surgeries and they putting on these filters because they ain't got a man around this bitch telling them how pretty they is. And and when I see a motherfucker like, you deserve to be told that I want to eat you out. You deserve to be told that. You deserve mm. to be told that I want to fuck you as soon as I see you mm. and I ain't never met you. Mm. You feel me? That might, that might. She deserved to be told you want to eat might, her ass I might be saving her from doing the surgery. Huh? I'm really saving this lady. All right. Yeah. Did, and did, but did it ever work? Huh? Did it ever work? What you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you got to be both specific. <laughs> you ever see it and they be like, all right, come on. Let's get this fuck. Let's get together. Uh, probably so. I got. I had a lot of encounters. Yeah. I can say yeah. So what 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 you used to talk about? He went viral for, you know, he, you know, some pictures of him was put up. A picture? Yeah, it was a bunch of pictures put up by you. On me? Yeah. With what? What, what? on vacations and all that? Type oh, of you shit. talking about my being there? Yeah. Oh, okay. with, with his two women? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that's a, that's some player like, shit. Player. You, you know, a lot of people were shocked because they never seen you. In, Within that mix, and they was like, "Oh yeah, shit!" I don't be po- oh. They was like, "How the fuck did he manage that?" You know, a lot of dudes are trying to figure out. Damn, he a bad motherfucker. You yeah. had that. You had certain, certain people were shocked because they never even knew you was part of that mix. Yeah. So how do you deal why, with that? Well, well, how did you come out? You got because you came out, nah, baby. I think it's double trouble, man. <laughs> I'm just saying. We just asking, like, how you know? How do you deal with that type of situation? How do I deal with it? Uh. Hmm. Should have deal with me. <laughs> yeah, hey. But nah, uh, a type of situation with like that, it, it gotta be not that you, not just you wanting. Like when when people think about that situation, it's them thinking that oh, that's just a motherfucker wanting more than one woman or something. It's just really more. It was more about 
man, we met. I fuck with y'all. You fuck with me hard. We we learn each other. We were like real friends. Like I feel like I share my truth with y'all. Like it's a really an energy type of thing. Like we really our energy mixed in. You feel me? <laughs> 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 I ain't G5 in the number Yo, so fuck no. Yeah. <laughs> I got a pretty good play down. This so motherfucker gonna sit and tell us all, cause you know I just say what the fuck I want. You yeah. know what I mean? That's just I how, that's why my shit authentic. Well, how you get the two women? It was, it was like the energy. Nah, the energy was great, you know. It was, a, it was an energy atmosphere, and yeah. you know, well, was a, it, I ain't, it, it ain't happening by me because sugarcoating. Because yeah. you had a lot of people like the camp, you know, coming a lot of women sending it around. People like, damn, I'm, I might could do something like this. Damn, how did this happen? Damn, See, from my knowledge, work? the inner works. They want to know, like, from my knowledge, I don't be up on shit. Yeah. So apparently, <laughs> this, <laughs> apparently, apparently, the two females <laughs> are kind of known. Oh yeah, they on social media. Yeah. So, now I didn't know that. So for them to be known, the and then you know, then it just come out like, oh no, yeah, these minds. It was especially to him. He was like, oh shit. He, I'm talking about. He was he was triple gun salute. You hear that nigga? Cause <laughs> I said, nephew, nephew, got his shit together because you got to stand. The way this shit is put out there to the world is that we doing us. This just us. For so long, and they had a movement of people looking like that's just us. And then when he pop up, they throw the joint. They like, I'm like, yo. Yeah. I said, this motherfucker cold, cold, yeah. he cold. You know what I mean, he cold because you know we live he, in a different time he, now. He low key want to be wallow back. No, 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 I feel well, it, it was just them. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, they've been married and stuff, and I, I, I did something. Whatever I said, did I, I earned the right to be a part of a mix at that time? <laughs> I like, I like him just like, I earned the right. I earned the right. Now I'm gonna say this. <laughs> that nigga funny. I'm gonna just say this though, because you know, and people want to know how do it. Now like, I'm gonna just say this. How do you? How do you? I'm the stars on this thing. Listen. What does, what does it mean? It's a lot. No, really, <laughs> you know, like, fuck over here. Listen. I, people want to know. I'm just saying. You know, because we live in an un, uh, unorthodox time. People's yeah. not rocking on, a, you know, people now is more open to, you know, open whatever. Re relationships, uh, polygamy, whatever's going on. So people want to know, like, how do it work? Can it work? Is it possible to work? You know what I mean? Did you fuck it up? Did you did you do some shit? And, you, and, and they say, nigga, you got to leave or something? Like, <laughs> like, no, we done with you. You fucking up. You acting bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I'm just saying, because it's like, you said it was. You know what I mean? So no, I'm me saying at, the, at that point of me getting into the, the mix in mm -hmm. the relationship, I did something to earn that, that spot. So you're in a full blown relationship now. <laughs> man, what's up with y'all, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm just asking what we see on the net, man. You see me on the net, I'm with my wife, Tootie. Everybody know I'm with Toot. You know what I mean? So we yeah. just seen you on the net and you, you know. You, I said I'm pretty much oh, okay, man, okay. Man, you got good. a pretty little boy, That's man. Beautiful son, time, man. man. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, man. Yeah, be a BMF, man. Bad motherfucker. And one thing he, one thing he is, he up front. Yeah, he's straight up about it, though. You he he said, "I'm gonna eat both of y'all asses till you pass out." Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, 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 he went right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right there. He, he said, "He's telling us." I just said something, and you know, it got me in, and. You know, since then it's been. Yeah, I know what you said. <laughs> mm -hmm. Shout out to you though, man. You doing your thing. You know, we we Going just in. as OGs. You know, I never was able to have it like that. You know, that's like the, the way they doing it now. That was really in my time. Like, you know what I'm saying. So for you to be, you know, that's my loves, man. That's my. That's, that's my all it's about. So. That's all it's about. That's all it's about, baby. Girls. Can you you got to get Wallow Bang some game, man? He try to. No, he, 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 try, he, try, he try to pull you off, but he'll know how to do it. <laughs> he no, don't man. know how to do it. He keep getting two chicks to the crib. They end up rolling on him. Fuck is you doing? You brought me in. Well, they roll on him, roll in the crib. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, trust man, me. He trying to be wallow bangs. Roll man. on. That mean fight. Yeah, they beat no, him the fuck up. Nah, he lying. <laughs> he had one in the crib. Try to bring another one to introduce him. They go. They roll on him. Fuck around with you. What you think he me lying. into? They beat him all the fuck up. Black his eyes. We can't film for a week and a half I, and all I, that shit. 
if anybody know, you know I don't got them type of problems. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm good in that area. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? don't you believe me? I mean, like I could, you know, what you could what he got two. I could have four. <sighs> you already know that, cuz I'm just chilling, man. He yeah. can have four. I'm chilling. If you can have four, nigga, you'd have four. Fucking shit. <laughs> They be laying all around all motherfucking day. Chilling, what are you man. talking about? That, that's some good. That's some good internet shit, ain't it? Huh? If you can have two, I can have four. That shit sounds good. That shit good. was fine. That yeah, shit sounds good serious. for the net. That's all that shit that's like is. Like a TikTok. That shit yeah, that shit. <laughs> yeah, you, you got everything. Mike gonna go cut that shit. <laughs> oh you know, man, nigga, you ain't here making TikTok. Oh, oh, man. Man. I ain't gonna put in the motivation. I was talking to this young brother yesterday. <laughs> and we were talking about. Don't think small. If you can have, two, he can have two. You can have four. Go get it. Get up right now. Go what you waiting on? Let me say what's in one time. Let me get on my shit today. Oh my god, this nigga crazy man. Y'all niggas is crazy man. Damn, that nigga said because he can have two. I can have four. Yeah. Nigga, what? Get oh the god, fuck man. out of here with that bluff and shit. That was a play ass shit, shit for a lying ah. ass nigga. What? I mean, twenty four, baby. So, so album wise, when you dropping, man. So man, I got three albums ready right now. Damn, uh, but I got a little uh, situation. Okay, with my uh, with my furnishing company. Not my major. Not my not my Def Jam because I'm signed through the furnishing to Def Jam. It's not with Def Jam. So uh, I feel like. For one, I'm a workhorse, and I feel like any label, anybody I be with, should love and, and appreciate having me. You know what I'm saying? Because I take on a lot of shit. Like even with videos, I spend that shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it got to the point where I just I can't be taken advantage of, and I can't allow. It ain't just me now; it's my child too. I can't allow payments coming late. I can't allow the importance of What's mine is not being delivered to me. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And because normally, like I say, I'm a work hard, so sometimes I put the business on the backbone burner. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? My paperwork and shit straight, uh-huh. but some shit just never got fixed. And so now it's so murky to where it's just like, no, I need my shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to fix the situation, but in the, in a way, I'm really independent right now. Okay. I, yeah. So. Do we gotta do we gotta establish a a free Fredo Bangs campaign? Facts. We, we gotta work on that, man. Yeah. Cause at the end of the day, the motherfuckers waiting on the music, man. And a motherfucker try to put you on hold to burn your stem out, man. You feel what I'm saying? Because we live in a motherfucking a time now where you be hot as shit now and then you don't feed your motherfucking fans and then yep. now you cold and you gotta try to reintroduce and I'm gonna, I, and yourself. And I'm gonna and say this shit. too, cause uh the people it's not just one person. It's it's another person who's in the mix. They didn't do it right by me. They didn't help me throughout the years, but they know that they they been the business was never uh, structured all the way right and and properly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So and I understand that. And I'm not no greedy ass nigga. If you feel like I owe you, let's sit down like two men. You know what I'm saying? If you yeah, feel like yeah. it's something that you, that you need to be, let's sit down like two men and get it fixed now. It shouldn't take no year. Mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? I shouldn't be begging you a year to get my shit straight. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I should be way more laid back, especially when I, I see what the fuck I'm making and what's supposed to be in my pocket. Right. You know what I'm saying? So right. I just I, I I just can't allow myself to be taken advantage of it no more. I mean in, in a, a lot of times, you know, a lot of times this all this happens with the artists, you know. They come in the game, they be young niggas from the ghetto, they come in the game, they get an opportunity, and then when you start getting some money, you start moving around you start learning the business, you start understanding that, hold up, man. Shit not right, man. Yeah. Nah, I, I learned the first time I went broke. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and then the yeah. second time. <laughs> but nah, uh, I'm blessed to be one of the artists to where uh, I might not get a plaque every month or two, mm-hmm. but I got some, and on top of that, I got people who actually listen to my whole catalog. They might not just be driving on one song, but they listen to everything. So I still got people learning my shit. I still can go get booked four or five times out the week. I'm not making. I'm not booking my own shows. You know right, what I'm saying? Like, right. 
I then to do a million dollar shows a year. Yeah. Like I'm blessed to say I can, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm good, but I'm but you can be, be way, better. I'm supposed to be great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you good, but you know the work you putting in is supposed to be supposed to be better than good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you're saying you got three albums done. So to the furnishing company, man, let's work something out for Fredo so you know we can start dropping music, man. Because uh, one thing about me and Osworth again, we support the young niggas over here. And we I could them. drop it right now. Like I say legal, legally, I'm independent. Yeah. But I really, I've been trying to give them a chance to make this shit right. Yeah. And just get this shit over with. Well, you let's make it right. You know, make it I don't right. know who I'm talking to, but I'm talking to you. Yeah, I ain't gonna blast them right now. Yeah, let's make it right. Gonna... You know what I mean? And and that's just a conversation, man. Let's let's sit down. Let's figure something out. Will we both happy? We ain't we because if I don't drop no music. I'm not making no money. You not making no money. Yeah. How is it benefiting either one of us? That don't it just don't make sense as business. So let's let's work it out because the nigga I am now I wasn't I, I wasn't that nigga then, but I'm that nigga now. So let's make it right and let's move forward. And a lot of times that's all it be about yeah. is both sides putting the ego to the side, man, mm. and saying let's let's just do what's right. You know what I mean? And so whoever I'm talking to, let's sit down. It's men and y'all make that right, man. So the man can feed the streets and, yep. you know, feel comfortable when he working. You know, because that's the main thing as an artist. You want to just have that comfortability. Mm -hmm. you know, so I can and just it, go it, in and I can just concentrate. It's one thing when you're you sitting there working to get to a level mm -hmm. and then actually seeing the fruits of your labor, but it's not touching your pockets. You're looking mm -hmm. at it. Mm -hmm. You're seeing the digits. Mm-hmm. You, you know what I'm saying? Because like streaming helped a whole lot of artists. Like a lot of people don't like it, but without streaming, you'll still be waiting for the label to send you a piece of paper that say mm -hmm. something. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But now you can get access, which I do have, and I can see what the fuck going on. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when I'm seeing this and I'm texting the motherfucker's <clears throat> phone like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Where, where that wire at? And this ain't coming? You know what I'm saying? That's, you know what I'm saying? That's, That's an issue. Yeah. Right. Especially because... At the end of the day, it's like if you owe me something, bro. Yeah, because I wouldn't give a fuck if it was fifty dollars. If I owe you that, I'm gonna give it to you. Right, let's you make it right. Let's, let's make it right. That's that's part of the let's motherfucker. Make this but shit right. One thing about the music industry, man, they been robbing niggas for you forever. Mm -hmm. It's funny to say. It's hard to say, but they've been robbing niggas forever. A lot of niggas got to get the label audited. A lot of niggas, you know, Wayne had to had to had to get the label one audited. Biggest artists out. One of the they, biggest they, artists in the uh, world. Uh, the motherfuckers owed him fifty two million or some a lot shit of like that. Y'all so. niggas need to know, like, coming in with that paperwork, you do not have to rush in signing it. Sit there, break that shit. Pat. If you got a good lawyer, he gonna sit there and break every pat. That's the thing. Whatever law you get, if he don't sit there and break everything down, on it, like when he read it, he gonna sit there and send you the facts of it, mm -hmm. points, royalties. You get your yep. masters back this time. If mm -hmm. he not doing that, fire him. Go get somebody else to look at that same paperwork and Absolutely. tell him, and tell the label, hold on, I'm still checking that shit. Take your time, and you can send red lines to, to change point. Okay, you don't like this, send this back to him. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And another thing, I want to start fighting for artists. Like a lot of artists, we don't get uh, net profit deals. It, it be all our videos, lawyer fees, beat fees, it's coming out our side. Mm -hmm. But we not noticing that. You know right. what I'm saying? We not seeing that in the written paperwork. Right. So I feel like the label should start going the net profit way. Right. Once that shit start hitting green, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it, it shouldn't be, oh, y'all side already green and it's 20% paying for everything. It should be once everything hit green, everybody get paid. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I like that. I do understand though because they got a lot of dumb asses who really a waste of money and shouldn't be signed, so they protect their uh, cause. No, but you got to understand, too, they signing them niggas, and uh, if he don't work, he a tax right now. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? That, that's what that's what a lot of artists don't understand, is that you can go to a record label like Universal or, you know, any Sony, wherever you go, they don't understand, oh, I'm signed now. I'm signed. Uh, that don't mean shit. Yeah. They got 30 niggas over there signed you never even heard of, nigga. That's where the real work began. They they got 30 niggas on the roster that you never heard of. Yep. That you might never hear. Them niggas might not never come the fuck out. And all they going to do is go on nigga taxes, man. That's all they going to do. So at the end of the day, getting signed is just the beginning. That's just the opportunity. Motherfuckers act like they always oh, sign. Ah. It's just the opportunity, bro. Now you got to put the real work in. 
Now you, it's crazy because now you got to make them really believe. Mm -hmm. And then now you, a lot of them, when they get you now, they want to tell you what's your hottest shit. Well, hold on. I got here on my own. Yeah. Fuck you mean? I, I built my fan base up on my own. That's why y'all niggas called me in here. Yeah. Now you telling me what's my hottest shit? <laughs> now you need to go with this record. You're like, wait, wait, hold on, wait. Hold up. <laughs> this like my <laughs> sixth best record. Fuck is you yeah, talking we, about? I, I think um, when we did top, I argue, we argued for like about six, seven months about top straight until, and it wasn't until I got Dirk on it and shot the video and that shit popped it and they were like, oh, damn, this was the record. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But just think. What if you wasn't an argumentative person and yeah, who believed you believe in your shit? Believe in your shit. Nah, you got to prove yourself. Right. Like, you just don't come in and like, this, this is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people make bad decisions. You want to spend 100000 That's another thing. I'm, I'm, I know how to work a budget. Mm -hmm. I done did three projects in one one album budget before. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It ain't nothing wrong with finding that, that $800 video, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When you know your video make. 2000 in the first two weeks, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's about sh okay, showing them. Ah, right, he know what he's talking about, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I told him, like, one for instance, when I drop on YouTube, a lot of people drop labels, they like to drop on Vivo. Mm -hmm. Vivo, uh, and there's no disrespect to Vivo, I love it, I fuck with y'all. Um, Vivo profit them more, mm -hmm. but I was telling them, like, when I drop on Vivo, my fans, uh, my subscribers can't see it that good, mm -hmm. which is something I'm trying to fix. And they were like, ah, oh, no, no, no. I said, you know what? I'm going to swallow the pig. I'm going to hit it, do it. I'm going to show you. Mm -hmm. See, these are my normal numbers the first week. Mm -hmm. And this is Vivo numbers. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I, I had to prove that, show them that. If you on your shit, you I'm glad that you young, but you on your business game. No, you got to. And I think, and I think. This is all I got, man. It's either this or go back to the streets. And I think, and I think when you, uh, if you do get a chance sometime, like on your page or your, you know, your live or whatever you're doing, start speaking that more so these young cats can understand it. Mm -hmm. Because rarely times you see young cats that really know the legal side of the contracts, the business, you know, uh, what's being taken from them, how to take their budget and do three projects with one album budget, mm -hmm. understanding, let me go get the $800 video, boy. Instead of trying to get spend 15000 for one video, for that 15000 I can shoot 10 videos. I, but the only thing with your paperwork, it's hard to explain to a motherfucker who ain't seeing it. Right. Cause that, that shit get in front of you. For one, you think about the money. I'm like, uh, you know, I need this shit. Uh -huh. Then you just seeing all that shit. The shit sound like fucking astronaut signs. Uh -huh. You feel what I'm saying? So it's hard to even explain that, especially like motherfucker watching on live and shit. Like, what is points? What is this? You know who is good at talking about business? That nigga, money man. Money man to be. Anytime shit. I need to think of, I need even even outside of rap. If I need to know about any type of business, I call that nigga. And he don't have no he don't have no problem sharing game with me. That's what I'm talking about. Shout out to money, out man. money man, man. Giving that motherfucking game, game out. He money man on Empire, right? <coughs> yes, yeah. he is. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Shout out to being we supposed to get him in Gazi. Yeah, we gotta get him in Gazi. I'm working on it. Okay. So shout, shout out to out Money Gazi Man. Too, I yeah. Gazi. Yeah. yeah, shout out to Gazi too. Well shit, Fredo man, we appreciate you stopping by, man. I appreciate, appreciate you this, man. You know what I'm saying? Like nigga. Real play out Real here. Real play, yeah. Shout out to Fredo Bang and Wallow Bang. You know what I mean? <laughs> Mister, if he can have two, I can have four. Get the oh. fuck out of here, four. buddy. It's my new joint, four. I'm going to go get four. Why, like a motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> this sticker. Never had to worry about nothing. Cook, they going to cook good for And we want to say, man, we, we, we don't know what you're going through exactly, but we hope the album is coming soon. Um, yeah. You know what I mean, at least keep giving up some singles. Uh, I'm about, I'm about go. I was just trying to um, I was trying to clear the water a little bit. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know what I'm saying? But I can't drop right now. Like, but when I drop a project, I like to have that full presentation, marketing put together, this plan it together. So I'm gonna drop start dropping some singles probably in about a week or so. Let's oh, get it. Okay. So shit, we ain't gotta wait that long there. Yeah. Motherfucking. Man, we appreciate you coming through. Keep doing your thing, Keep nigga. Doing what you doing? Keep doing. You know, you always got a home head with million dollars worth of game. Nah, next time I come back, uh, I'm gonna have y'all come to BR. Yeah, why not? Yeah, well, we straight there. Yeah, why not? you get y'all yeah. bulletproof and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, now nigga made me nervous. <laughs> I'm gonna get you on the bulletproof. Wait, wait hold up. We need a bulletproof. <laughs> I, I, I don't. I, when I go like when I do shows, I don't like having people lives in my hand. But I feel like 
I need to experience with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So no, we love make sure y'all all the way We yeah. love coming to the hood, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We went to Chicago for Dirk, Chicago yeah. for uh, Herbo. Memphis. Memphis for Glorilla. You know what I mean? So shit, we love coming to the hood. That's one thing we gonna do. We gonna do what all the other niggas ain't gonna do. Mm-hmm. Cause we really from that shit. Yeah. I'm talking about in the trenches. Oh, really? We yeah. coming. Yeah, what's up with Glow? Oh, what? Shit, what he else said she want really? to be up? You, you, huh? What you mean? Huh? What's up? What else she Big Glow. You talking about Big Glow, right? Yeah, what else she want Big to be Glow. up? Big <laughs> Glow. <laughs> what you mean by whatever she want well, to be Whatever she want to be up. <laughs> You want to DM? The DM mm-hmm. before? Shit, yeah. I ain't got no shame in my game. Did mm-hmm. you, you get a response or anything? Nah, I'm waiting on one. <laughs> Glow my BM, thank you, cute. <laughs> Oh. Hold on, hold on, let me hit the glow on it. <laughs> okay, glow. <laughs> be up thinking cute, huh? yeah. This nigga try to add a third one to the mix. He crazy. Yeah. <laughs> if you had four, I can add three. He ready to be a three. Nah, nah, Glorilla cute, though. Fuck with her. You fuck with her. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck with her. You, you want you to get a record with, with her, too? Huh? You can do. Fuck around, I'll do a record with her. She be talking that shit, don't she? Matter of fact, I got one for right now. I got some shit. You got one for Send it to her. Send it to her DM. Yeah. <laughs> what? I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the devilish ass smile you got on your face. He like this. Talk about business, <laughs> man. <laughs> you talk about business. Talk about business. All right. Let's get the business. <laughs> you got a plan. Hey, you got a plan. What's this for? That nigga, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> he keep looking at the bar stool shit, talking about what this thing. Well, that's bar stool sports, man. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah. Basis, I'll, I'll see. Okay. Yeah, and that's million dollars worth of game. That's and that's million dollars worth of game. And that's Fredo Bang. And that's Wallow Bang. And it's just oh. like that. Right!